Hey everyone, how is everyone in the business sisterhood today? Uh, I wanted to pop in here and say hello. Um, I also wanted to apologize because I feel like I've been a little bit absent. I have um, been taking care of some things on my end and I haven't been sharing as much uh, useful information as I want to. And so um, I wanted to let you guys know that I am going to make a commitment to you all to come in here every Tuesday at nine o'clock. And I, in that post at nine o'clock, I am going to be sharing really relevant, useful information for you. Um, that's my first commitment. I'm gonna do a lot of other things. But that's the one I'm working on for the month of December. And um, I'll pop in and out all the time, but that is the thing I'm gonna hold firm on. Um, I've been really caught up with uh, my clients uh, recently, and um, it is also a, a busy time of year for me. Um, so as in my accounting practice, that, that kind of part of my business, this time of year is when I'm preparing a lot of my clients for their year end. If they're sole, pro sole proprietors, uh, their year end is a calendar year. And right now is a really good time for me to um, talk with them about what their, their current year is looking like and what their tax um, exposure is so that they can prepare for um, that April 30th deadline of tax. And so that has kind of got me distracted from you guys. Um, hey, Jackie. Hi, Amy. Um, and so uh, I, I had, um, I met with my mastermind group last night and I realized that I have neglected this part of my business and it is really important to me and it's something that I really love doing. So Tuesdays at nine is my commitment to the business sisterhood. Um, to share some information. Really juicy stuff. Okay, so um, for the month of December, I want to share with you how I, the steps that I took, the things that I did um, to take my business from three or four thousand dollars a month to, which is like Thirty-six uh, ish thousand dollars, thirty-six to forty thousand dollars a year, say, um, through to over two hundred thousand dollars a year. Um, I grew my business in two thousand and sixteen by taking really strategic steps that um, some were planned, some were not. Um, some were learning experiences, some were not. Um, some were super freaking awesome, some were not. <laughs> and I want to be able to share that with you because I want to save you the heartache, okay? Because sometimes it really sucks when you make a decision and you think you're doing the right thing and you actually, um, it's not the right thing. And the result is not what you wanted. And you feel like you've gone 10 steps back. And it fucking sucks, okay? So I want to, if I can, save you that um, experience. Um, so in the month of December, on Tuesdays at 9 o'clock, I'm going to be sharing, you, um, sharing with you um, some key things that I did. So today, I want to talk to you about uh, something that I consciously do now, like super, super, super consciously do now. Um, and it's something that I started doing. I didn't really consciously start doing. I just did what felt good. And in looking back at it, it has made it probably one of the biggest um, changes in my life and my business. So um, it's all about who you surround yourself with. And I know like there's like the cliche quotes and all that jazz and um, and it sound it could sound a little bit hokey. Um, 
And it's not just surrounding yourself with people who are going to be going, yay, you, yay, you. Um, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about cheerleaders. I'm talking about um, people that resonate with you, that um, inspire you, and that move you forward, and that lift you up. So um, I often use the analogy that um, I read from Elizabeth Gilbert, which is the crab pot, right? And so you're all like these little crabs in the crab pot, and you're all like crawling all over each other to get up, and like you kind of get up, and like then you like reach up, and you like get your little claw over the edge of the pot, and like, like or maybe like you're like you're kind of you're holding on to another crab, and maybe that crab's got like they're half over the pot, and like you got one claw, and then you're holding on with the other. And like they're kind of lifting you up and you're climbing and then you get a crab, you get a, a, a claw on the pot and you reach down and you grab that crab that's down there and he's like, ah, help, take me with you. Okay. <laughs> and you lift that crab out with you and maybe he grabs or she grabs another crab and you help each other. Okay. So... At any given time, the people you surround yourself with are the people who are maybe one or two steps um, below you in their progress. And then there's the people who are at your level. So you're all doing, you've got similar challenges and they're a great resource. Um, and then the people who are just that little bit above you or more above you, um, and they're pulling you up and they're holding you accountable to you be even a higher version of yourself um, and it doesn't have to be like money oriented okay this it can apply to anything it can apply to fitness it can apply to a sport you're learning it could apply to business whatever it is right um, there's people that you're going to be able to help then there's the people who are going through it with you and then there's the people who have gone through it and they're going to be able to pull you out and they're all of these people create this tapestry of support that like wraps you in a blanket and moves you forward. Um, so these people might not be in your world right now. Okay. Mine weren't in my world at that time that I started doing this. Um, and how I, I had stepped a little bit out of my comfort zone by joining a few Facebook groups and I watched for a little bit and then I I would see somebody who you know was going through the same thing as me and maybe I'd reach out to them and and I was too shy like or I don't know not confident enough to reach out to people who seemed to be rocking it but I followed them and I liked them and I you know I I commented on their successes in their posts and and sometimes they reached out to me and said like I see you on my feed. What's going on? Then this is kind of all on Facebook. Um, I also, super important, I looked for a couple of events that resonated with me that made me um, want to go and learn something. Okay? So for me, I found um, Shine Live. And that event and Chantelle Adams seemed to, it just spoke to me and I'm like, I gotta be there. And it was in Kelowna. It was like a no brainer, right? It's like, yeah, I'm going to go. Bought my ticket. I don't know, something like February or something like that. Right? It didn't happen until September. Um, and then I tried to look for little things along the way that I could do places. I could spend my time where I was going to learn, where I was going to be moved forward. Sometimes it worked and sometimes it didn't. Right. I would, I tried a, a couple of networking groups that didn't work out at all. I found one that worked out great. Um, I reached out to uh, people that I, um, I saw online, their websites, their, they were doing the things that I wanted to do in my life. And it was amazing the amount of support I got and just by doing that, it moved me that little bit forward. 
and it moved me a little bit outside my comfort zone. And then I started to connect with other people, right? And and then I started to like make some other connections, right? And so like one thing I did was I had a friend who I thought should go to the shine and she didn't have a lot of money, to be honest. And so I reached out to Shanta Adams and I was like, hey, you know, I have this friend. She really could benefit from Shine. Um, do you have any, like, volunteer roles that she could do? Like, she's way too shy to contact you herself. Um, and through talking to Chantal, I got to know her a little bit. And just, like, I was like, I'll even volunteer for her. What do you need, right? Um, that helped me form a little bit of a relationship with Chantal, who, who has become a great mentor to me. Um, it pushed me into a new circle of uh, women who are so incredible for my business, like has, has taken me to a, a whole new level. Okay. And by surrounding myself with those women, so Jackie McDonald is one of them. Um, my business has up leveled even more, like even more than I thought. And they, okay, so some of us are at the same level. Some of us are a little bit higher. Some of us are a little bit lower within that circle. And we pull each other up. We hold each other accountable. We're like checking in, like doing all these things. And I, I can't tell you how much this has benefited my business and to have people that I can be, like recently I was like faced with a dilemma in my business. What do I do? It was a really big deal. Okay. And I'm like, okay, okay, girls, here's my deal, right? Do it. Here's the problem. This is kind of the two things I've thought about doing. What do you guys think? They all kind of weighed in and we were able to come up together with like this solution of, Oh my God, you're insane. Don't, don't do that. Don't do that. And maybe think about doing this. And I came up with an amazing solution, which completely fit with my business and my core values. And so I value these women so, so immensely um, as friends and as mentors and as collaborators. So that brings me to the next point, which is collaboration, not competition. So competition, if you feel competitive with someone, it's because you're sitting in fear. Um, and it's just as simple as that. It's because you're sitting in fear and scarcity and you need to get out of that. So there's a lot of things you can do to get out of that. Jackie McDonald is amazing at tapping EFT. Um, and you can, you can do that with her. Um, there's a lot of reading you can do about this. I am a huge, huge, huge believer and fan of the big leap. It is one of the things that's changed my life. And, um, it talks about fear and scarcity and how to get out of that mindset. So not everybody's going to be on that same, um, place as you that same plane as you, that same step where you are. And sometimes um, you can care, go on through the world um, going, I believe in collaboration, not competition. Um, and then people say that, but then they don't live it, right? And so you get, you might find people who are like, oh yeah, I totally agree with you. But secretly they're like, I'm going to totally destroy her. Um, you'll, you'll feel it inside when you come up with the, against those people, you'll feel it and put up a wall. Okay. Um, it doesn't have to be like the giant wall. It can be like a half wall. Um, but don't allow them the full access into you and your life. Okay. Because they might be on a journey and eventually they might come around to really, um, living in abundance and limitless, but at this point they aren't quite there. And so you can support them a little bit, um, in their journey and provide them inspiration and example as to what this looks like in the real world. Um, 
but don't get dragged down into their um, crazy, okay? Because it's really easy for them to kind of grab you and drag you into their crazy, and then you start the spiral of limiting beliefs and the spiral of fear and scarcity. And before you know it, even though you know you're really aware of it, before you know it, you're in it. And then you have to work to get out of it, right? So if you feel, you'll feel it. As soon as you come up against it, you'll feel it. Put up the little wall, the little half wall, right? Let them be able to see over the wall so they can see what it looks like in the world that you live in, where you live the, competi- the collaboration, not competition, and inspire them to do that because I am absolutely... Like the biggest thing in my life is um, that I am I am worthy of love, success, and abundance, and I expand in love, success, and abundance, and I inspire others to do the same. That's a huge part of me, and so I want inspiring other people is a key core value for me, and so I want them to be able to see over the wall. I just can't have them in it have them in until they're living it completely um so that is my tip for today surrounding yourself with people it can be online it can be in person it's the books you read it's the podcasts you listen to it's the music you listen to it's the um the you know the facebook areas you spend your time it's Surrounding yourself is more than just the people who are standing in front of you, right? It is, it is the whole soup that you guys live in, right? The awesomeness soup that you live in. And, oh my God, I promise you, it will change your life. It will change your business. It is probably one of the key things that... I have done to change my life, right? Oh, Smith, yay! Oh, listen to the replay, Smith. It's it, it's good. Talks about you. <laughs> Smith's another one in my little um, center stage group, and uh, and as you can see, like I just see her pop up here and a smile because, and you know the same thing. Um, Amy, who's on here, is another one. She's like, she's not in that, that circle. She wasn't in that group. Um, but she's a fantastic client of mine and somebody that I really want um, to pull along, right? And that probably one day will go further than me um, because she has fantastic energy and she has so, so much potential. So that's my deal today. Uh, next Tuesday, I'll come and talk about um, something else that I did. And it's every Tuesday. I'm going to write a little blog about it as well. And if you have questions about this, ask them here because I will be popping back and forth and answering. Um, questions are really good. And if you know someone who needs to hear this, if you know someone who is struggling in their business or their life like they they just they seem to be doing the things but it's not quite working or it's just something missing um invite them over to the business sisterhood it's a great place um and uh, it's got lots of great people in it and i want more great people in it um so yeah so um it's snowy and sunny today so i'm gonna go and I've got lots to do and I'm super energized and um, I hope you guys all have a really great day and I will talk to you later. Bye. Mwah.